tonight on Praise from New York City. Tamala and David Mann, Marvin Sapp, JJ Hairston, and Jacqueline Carr. And now, your host, Javen Campbell. Are y'all ready to praise? want you to tune in worship with us. Worship is not a spectator sport. It's a participator sport. 
and we have a show that's lined up of gospel's greats that are going to sing and minister and lift up the name of Jesus. And we're coming to you live right here from New York City. Hey, hey, hey. We want to give a big shout out to Matt and Lori Crouch for keeping TBN strong, keeping it alive, going to over 100 million viewers around the world. And it's all for one glory, and that's to lift up the name of Jesus. I'm your host, Javen, tonight, and I want you to stay with us for the full hour because I'm telling you right now, God has a word for you, God has an assignment for you, and God has a breakthrough for you. Are y'all ready to keep the praise going? I got the one and only Jacqueline Carr, Grammy-nominated artist. Make some noise for her singing. I love the way you love it. Make some noise for Jacqueline. Can we just make a big choir and sing about the love of Jesus tonight? All you say is, I love the way you love me unconditionally. Can you wave your hand all over the building tonight? Get excited about your love, Jesus. Oh. Just open your mouth and worship Jesus, baby. Jesus, I love the way you love me. Yes, I do. 
praise. Hallelujah. Ooh. I love the way you love me. You can be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just tuned in, you're watching the Praise Show right here on TBN. And I'm telling you right now, we have one of God's best. Ja'Kalen, talk to me. What is God doing in your life? I know you got an album out and you got a book out and all that stuff. Talk to me about the grace yes, of God. Yes, the album is One Nation Under God, and that song is on there. You know, when I think about the grace of God, it help us to really understand his faithfulness towards us. So many times the enemy will make us feel like God won't accept us no more. But you got to understand that when God cleaned you up, you have the right to fellowship with him and he will use you to do some great things. Somebody shout glory up in here. Can you tell she's not only a singer but a preacher as well? You're representing the millennials tonight. You're one of the younger ones on the show tonight. Can you talk to me about our young people to grandparents that are out there saying what can I say to these young people to help bring them back into the fold? You know, I think it's just all about building them and speaking to that champion and that uh, that inspiration that's on the inside of them to do better and to grow in life. You know, they hear a lot, of, a lot of negativity. They see a lot of negativity. But it's up to the parents, the leaders, to make sure that they know who they are and making sure that they're operating in their God-given identity. Yeah, 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 good. The show tonight is all about the grace of God. When I say the grace of God to you and to your family, what does that mean to you? Well, my family realized that it's the grace of God that caused our future to be greater than our past. So it does not matter what oppositions we face. As long as we operate in the grace of God, we know we'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like you sing with the grace of God. I've never, I've never seen this young lady sing and it not just be absolutely, absolute passion. It seems like you give it everything to you God got. Is that right? Glory. Amen. To God yeah. be the glory. God always say you got one shot to make it right. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe she gets it right every, every time. Come on, make some noise one more time for Ja'Kay. We're going to keep this thing going. I love this man. You know, Ja'Kay, we got more singers on the show tonight, yes, we right? Do. Yes, so we, we do. got an incredible bishop, pastor, yes. singer. I'm, yes. I'm talking about a legend on the stage mm -hmm. tonight. Absolutely. You want to tell who's coming? Yes. Give it up for Pastor Mark.
from somebody right now. You don't know what they came in here with. You don't know what they got to go home to. But death and life is in the power of your tongue. I need you to find one person. I'm going to tell you what to tell them in a few minutes. Just find somebody, look him in the face and smile at them and say these words. Look at somebody and tell them this. Tell them for me. Say, neighbor, you're stronger. Tell them. Tell them you're find somebody else. You don't know what they came in here with. They may have tears rolling down their face. But tell somebody, say, neighbor, I got a word for you. Talk to them. Tell them I got a word that's going to encourage you. Talk to somebody. Say, I got a word that's going to build you. Look them in the face and smile at them. And tell them what they tell them. Say, say, neighbor, you're strong to tell them. testify about what you learned about yourself. You learned that you were stronger than you thought you were. That even after the enemy hit you with his best shot, you're still standing by the grace of God. Look at somebody and tell them, say, say neighbor, I'm strong to tell Tell them I'm wise to say it. seated. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, let's take a praise break. Clap your hands one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just tuned in, you're watching the praise show. That was the one and only Bishop Marvin Sapp singing, I never would have made it. Bishop, <laughs> I've known Marvin a long time. Very long. Yeah. Very, very long. We were on the same age. I yes. want everybody to know that, too. <laughs> <laughs> but I did grow up listening to your music uh, back in my college days. You've been doing it a very long time. Almost 30 years now. 30 years. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Almost 30 years. I think I know what the answer is, but I'm going to ask you, what do you credit? I know Jesus, but what do you credit uh, the longevity of, of, of the relevance of your music and who you are in your ministry today? I, I, I think the, the reason why my music remains relevant is because of the messaging. Yeah. I've, I've always been the type of individual that have, whenever I did records, I wanted to make sure that the music that I did, that lyrically, it was sound. Yeah. Um, you know, musically funky, but lyrically sound. You know, lyrically sound. So, and, um, 
So, Musically funky. Music, uh, yeah, yeah, funky but churchy. I but believe churchy. in that. Yeah, funky but churchy. But, but, but it, it's, it's the lyrical content yeah. is what really makes the difference. And uh, I mean, like even the song I just sung, Never Would Have Made It, I believe that the reason why it resonates with so many different people is because all of us have had Never Would Have Made It moments. You know, so it's, you know. Yeah. I, I read somewhere that even uh, somebody like Holly Berry um, took yeah. to that song, and that song helped somebody like that. Yeah, man, I, it's, it's amazing to me, um, you know, how that song has blessed so many different individuals. And the truth of the matter is that it almost didn't come out. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, yeah. Talk about that a little bit. Okay, well, I, I'm, I buried my father, and uh, the Sunday after I buried my dad, I just came in church, and uh, we usually close with this up-tempo song, Praise and Worship, uh, entitled I'll Praise You. But this Sunday, I just stood up with tears rolling down my face, and I started singing those words. I never would have made it, never could have made it without you. I'd have lost it all. Now I see how you've been there for me. After this, I'm going to be strong, I'm going to be wise, I'm going to be better. And uh, God gave it to me, for yeah. me. And I really yeah. felt like he gave it to me on that Sunday morning for me. Um, so I would sing it around the house. I would sing it at Bible study. I would sing it, just singing it, trying to encourage myself because, you know, my father was my hero. And... Uh, so it came time for to record this record called Thirsty. And my wife was like, you know, Melinda was like, you know, God rest her soul. She was adamant, baby, you gotta put this on your record. I said, no, I can't put it on my record because it's not a whole song. I said, it's never would have, never could have, stronger, wiser, better. That's the whole song. I said, I can't do it. She kept bugging, baby, I'm telling you, you gotta put it on there. Wow. So I actually went in the studio, I wrote two verses and a bridge. Wow. To never would have made it. And I let her hear it. She said, mm -mm, you done took the oil off of it. The oil's gone. <laughs> So, <laughs> so, I mean, up until the day of the recording, she kept nagging me. And in order to appease her, because she was not only my wife, but she was my partner in music ministry, and right. she managed my career and did all the other stuff, in order to appease her, I put Never Would Have Made It in a medley of songs at the end of the record. Okay. Uh, and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm just going to attach it to the end of the record just so you'll be happy, okay? She said, I'm telling you, baby, this is, this is the best decision you could ever make. Well, I thank God that I listened to her. I was going to say, because, what's, uh, do you know the numbers? How many? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I mean we've, we've sold over like 4 million wow. you know, copies of I Never Would Have Made It. So it's, it's amazing. It's helping me put my kids through college. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen, when, the show is titled Grace Tonight. It's all about the grace of God. When yes. I say the grace of God, what resonates with you when I say that? When I hear the grace of God, I, I immediately hear the unmerited favor of God. How we as individuals deserved one thing. But the reality is, is God made a decision not to give us what we deserve. And uh, when I look over my life, the fact that I'm up here today, the fact that I'm sitting here today, the fact that I'm able to sing to millions and millions of people, uh, the reality is, is that this is not a position that I deserve. Yeah. It's not something that I should be able to do just simply based upon uh, my life in general. You know, uh, there are things that we do publicly and then there are things that we do behind closed doors. God pays attention to everything. And, and, he knows everything. and he knows everything. And even though he still knows everything, he still allows us to graciously serve him and he uses us even though we're frail individuals. So I, I'm, I'm, I, never, take, I never take for granted uh, the fact that God's grace is so amazing. Yeah. Um, because, you know, the songwriter said it like this and I can close with this. I'm just grateful that he looked beyond my faults hey. and saw me at the point of my knee. Somebody clap your hands and give him praise. <laughs> it's always on. Lord, help me. Can you save some time for David, somebody else? David, now you know, you know, you and Tam go come out here and do what y'all well, need no, to do. Well, no, I just, I, I didn't know when to come out. You just came out. I Look, they standing people, up, all right? Yeah, so I they know people in the audience. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, David Mann. I was in the back, like, do I go now? <laughs> Is it go, do I go yet? Cause he got y'all here crying. <laughs> Cause I know I never should have made it. <laughs> Listen, all right, all right, Bishop, I'm sorry. I'm gonna let y'all handle this, okay, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, you don't have to go. This is yours. <laughs> no. no. One more time, make some noise for Marvin Sapp. Love you, sir. Bishop Marvin Sapp. <laughs>
All right, come on, David. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. You didn't have to go. I, I see your gold shoes. I'm going to click my heels together. Y'all sit down, sit down. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> okay, let me, give, let me give you a proper introduction. <laughs> oh, because I did just walk out here, didn't I? Yeah, you took over. I will <laughs> take over. You, <laughs> <laughs> Dave, David, y'all may not know this, but David is an author. He is a recording artist. He's a comedian and an actor. All right, make some noise for David Mann. <laughs> How you doing, sir? And, and you forgot one. Uh oh, uh oh. You forgot one. I love me some Jesus. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, oh. I, I enjoy. I enjoy watching your gold shoes <laughs> click down there. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, David, you're doing so much. Y'all, we've watched y'all from the from the Medea days to, you know, the, the Man family and everything. Wow. And it's really been such an incredible journey. I mean, seriously, an incredible journey. Uh, even before that, um, uh, the Kirk Franklin Kirk days, Franklin just and the everything. Family. Yeah. Take, all right, so let's do a speed, uh, kind of like a, a quick, let everybody know kind of who y'all are, y'all history real quick for people that may not we know. We started with Kirk Franklin and the family, a wonderful season, God blessed, then we hooked up with this gentleman called Turk, uh, Tyler Perry. <laughs> and we started doing music with Tamala uh, as a solo artist. God allowed now, what was your character? What was your character in uh, Tyler Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. You're looking like you're looking. <laughs> Everybody, and we never could have imagined that this would blow up into that. Mr. Brown, I remember the first night being on stage terrified, wow. scared that, you know, I didn't know if the people were going to even like the character. Wow. And look at God. And then, look at God. Amazing. And then you got your own TV show. Our own TV show, The Man's. The Man's. The Man's World. Yep. God is just amazing. It yeah. really is amazing to see all that God is yeah. doing. And I yeah. know right now uh, you guys have been talking about family and, and coming together. Talk about that a little bit. We're releasing our first book. It's called Us Against the World, Our Secrets to Love, Marriage, and Family. And hey. when we say us against the world, it is really an attack on the family structure. Yeah. And so we've declared war against the world when it comes to... Yeah. And so when we say us, y'all are included in the us. We're recruiting people that are going to help, help us build the family structure back up. Because the devil is a lie. He cannot have our families. So when you say us, you're not talking about just black people. I'm, not, I'm just talking about everybody who wants to help us war against the attack on families. Come on. Amen. 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 All right, the show's title is Grace tonight. We're talking about the grace of God. When I, when I mention the word grace, what wow. does that mean to you, Mr. For, Brown? For me? For, well, first off, let me, t let me ask Mr. Mr. Brown. Brown. No, no, wait, wait. Because <laughs> I'm going to ask both people. Okay. All right, so I want to ask Mr. Brown first what grace means, and then I'm going to ask uh, David Mann what okay. grace means. All right, so, so Mr. Brown, I okay. want to ask you, I know you are a man of God. Okay. I know you are full of the ointment of God, and the oil flows on you. <laughs> So, Mr. Brown, what does grace mean to you? Grace means, um, I was at a house the other day, and she <laughs> prayed grace. <laughs> Don't get me started, because I won't stop. <laughs> but for me, in all seriousness, for me to be... Um, the, the, coming from the background that I came from and for God to allow somebody like me to have a platform like this, it's nothing but the grace of God. It's not that I'm better than anybody, not that I'm smarter or anything like that. It was nothing but the grace of God. Wow. Y'all, I mean, I come from, you know, just a little old spot down in Fort Worth, in Lubbock, and it was just nothing but the grace of God that allowed both Tamla and I to be in this position. Not to be famous and all of that, but to help spread the word, spread the gospel. Wow. I can only think just sitting here watching him talk and just uh, talking with them behind the scenes and just knowing how humble both him and Tamla uh, are, it doesn't surprise you to see God just allow their star to shine wow. so bright. It, it goes with the scripture that says, he who humbles himself, God will, God will exalt God will lift. Man, lift him up. And so I am so grateful that I, you know, because like I was telling you, we wrote the book, Us Against the World. I was so grateful that God put a woman because he who findeth the wife findeth the... Hey. <laughs> and obtains favor. 
I'm so glad God has given me so much favor yeah. because I made the right decision. Thank God I how just long, made how long, them. How long y'all been married? We've been married 30 years. That's a miracle. And then how many kids? We have five, five beautiful kids. Well, all of them are not beautiful, but we have five <laughs> kids. We have, you gonna get in trouble tonight. we have 12 grandkids. I didn't say beautiful. They, <laughs> they ain't bloomed and blossomed yet. Yeah, yeah they're on their way. They're on, they on their way. way. <laughs> but, but you have how many grandchildren? We have 12 grandkids. My God. Yeah, that's wild. That's what I said. Do, they started having them like rabbits. <laughs> Do, do uh, any of them sing? Do any of them do comedy or any of that stuff? Yeah, well, I, a lot of them are so super talented. And, and I just told them, whatever you do, just be productive. Yeah. You know, I don't want, you know, because sometimes the kids can feel a little pressure right. with mom and dad. I just Especially say be productive. Yeah. yeah, be productive. Love the Lord and he'll direct your path. That's it. Hey, is, is there a scripture y'all stand on? Is there, like, is there like a running scripture or text that your, your family kind of live by? Or I, you know, I don't know if it's a running, but, you know, I like I said, I, I just look for the Lord to order our steps. Yeah. You know, I'm praying that as we go into this new season with the music and the book, that the Lord will simply order our steps. Wow. I, I want him to open doors that were supposed to be open Come and on. shut those that don't, there's no... Oh, oh. Hey! Uh oh Hello! <laughs> Speaking of Hello. the better So you just gonna do the whole interview without me? Well, you were powdering up and stuff, so I just said you do your thing. <laughs> so and so I just said let her do her thing. So. All right, y'all sit down, sit down for a second. All right, we got, we got to talk to Miss Tamla. She, she's getting ready. She's got, I know y'all wanted to sing. She's gonna sing it just a second. They said they love you. I love you back. I what? love you back. Hey, hey, Tamla, when you walk out here and you feel that love, what does that mean to you? Nervous. <laughs> I mean, I just depend. I, you know what? I think it's beautiful, and I to feel the love of people. Yeah. But I try my best to give the love back as yeah. much as I can. Yeah. But I mean, it's it's a feeling that I don't know. It's kind of it just overtakes you, yeah. cause you just never know what people are gonna do. You just. But I thank you for your love. Yeah, we love telling the man, don't we? All right. So I heard somewhere. That you finally, people don't know this about Dave, but Dave is a really good singer. And I heard somewhere you finally talked him into singing. Yes, I finally, you guys, got David in the studio after 20 years. Now, why, why wouldn't you sing before? What was the issue? I mean, the problem is, I mean, it's hard to sing with Tamala, man. <laughs> Y'all, this is Tamala, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I would always go in the studio and say, okay, I'm going to do a song with you, and I'll see you. And I'm just, I just leave. I wind up not doing the song. But this time, we wanted to do something, like I said, to encourage families. So we did the Us Against the World, The Love Project. Yeah. Yes. And so it's Tamala and I doing duets on the whole album. And he is really singing. <laughs> I mean, you told me he's singing better he, than you. Yeah, I think he's singing better than me on this project. Don't honestly. believe the hype, y'all. No, this I'm is, serious. That's going to be hard, Tamela. Well, no, I mean, but I think it's because this of the caliber, type of album, right? this, the type of album, the yeah. type of music, I mean, the team that the Lord blessed us with actually wrote really well and told our story right. in these songs. Yeah. So they just, they not the the bump shaking music, but it's really love music that you're talking about the person that you love and you've committed to. These are what these songs are about. And it takes you on our 30-year journey. That's the book say. and the, the album takes you on our 30-year journey of how God, the ups and the downs, because yes. there have been some downs. Amen. Y'all seen Amen. the ups on TV, but we've had some downs, and we share all of that with you in the book and the movie. In the, I, well, movie. Look, he got shot. I said the movie. Prophesy, <laughs> doctor. <laughs> I, I cannot, I cannot imagine uh, there being any arguments with Mr. Brown. <laughs> so, but listen, I, on a serious note, um, when when you think about a Christian album being a love album, for people that say, "Now, how are you gonna sing love music and whatnot?" What do you say to to those people? God and is love. God is love. And 
And we have, with his love and compassion, he won. He won people to him. And through this love project is to encourage our marriages to stay together. In the church, I mean, it's over half our marriages are breaking up. And over half of us are blended families. So we're talking about all, and we're dealing with all these issues. So why not let it be from us to us, for us? You know, so it's good. It's clean. It's something that you can ride, listen to, something you can be in private with your spouse Hallelujah. with. Hallelujah. <laughs> with marriage. You know, so I'm, it's, it's not like we don't do these things. Amen. And, you know, all of us are not listening to Jesus can work it out when we in our, in our bedroom. So we wanted to give something that we can share. Not with, take me to the king. Not no. take me to the king. No. Well. Don't go to the king when you... <laughs> These, these are songs that you can be fruitful and multiply with. <laughs> For those who are trying to multiply. All right. All right. Hold on. All right. We got, I know it's PG. <laughs> we got to no, it, get it, Tamela to sing it in just a second. But Tamela, before you sing, I want you to speak from the woman perspective. You know, we're talking about the grace of God. There's a lot of women that are watching today, a lot of women going through some things. I, even in our church, there's a lot of women that are struggling and getting pregnant and all this kind of stuff that I've just been hearing about. Women are, are struggling today. Speak to the women of God today and talk to them about the grace of God, the strength of God. Ooh, wow. His love does cover a multitude of fault. All of us have fallen in so many ways. Even us, we got pregnant before we got married. Things do happen, you know, so you have to forgive yourself. You have to go to God, confess your sins. But God does forgive you, and he does love you, and you can come out of whatever that is. You don't have to stay in bondage. Just like, because we have some people that are working the street, but you don't have to stay on the street because we have a God that loves us more. He's He's... He has unconditional love, what they were talking about earlier. I mean, where he can cover anything, and he can take care of you. You don't have to depend on anybody to take care of you. God will take care of you. He will provide for you. And that's what I just want women to know, that you need to know that you are the good thing. Because he that findeth the wife findeth the good thing and find favor with God. You are favor. Because he don't know that I brought a lot with me when I came. I know. And, I, and then when I came, a whole bunch of doors opened because I came. So we have to realize that we are the good thing and not just us some good thing, okay? So we can't just sell ourselves short, but I just want you to be encouraged that there is somebody that'll love you for you. I'm a thick girl. I was thick then. I'm still thick, and he still loved me. And you can have somebody that'll love you too out there. Amen for the thick girls. <laughs> Clap your hands. I'm going to do something a little different. Tamla's getting ready to sing, but just as you were talking, I mean, I'm just telling you, I feel the presence of God, the anointing of God. I know we didn't plan to do this at all, but I'm going to ask both of you. I'm going to ask that you start and you finish. Just say a quick prayer over all our viewers that are watching, especially couples, especially single people, folks that are looking for somebody, maybe somebody that uh, that somebody walked out on them right quick because God has blessed y'all with 30 years. You guys are walking miracle. Speak over the atmosphere. Father, we just thank you right now for the opportunity to eat even minister to people, yes, God. Yes, we Lord. thank you that those people that are watching, God, that you will watch over them and touch them. Yes, touch that broken heart right now, God. Yes, God. Men, that broken heart, let them know that you are right there beside them, God. You will never leave them nor forsake them, God. Yes, let them know that it is you that has given their joy back, God. Yes. Father, we thank you right now that that broken heart will be mended, God. Yes, Lord. Touch right now every family that's In under the sound of my voice, God. We come to bring joy, God. Yes, Lord, Let God. them know that you are their strength, yes, God. Lord Jesus. We thank you right now. We give you the glory. We yes, give Lord, you the God. honor. Yes, Lord. We give you the glory. Yes, yes, God, and we know that you are the potter, oh God. Yes, God. God, anything that's not like you, anything that's broken, that needs to be mended, God, that you can us. You can yes. fix us, Lord. Whatever it is in our minds, God, in our bodies, God, whatever is lacking, God, you can take up the slack, Lord God. Yes, God. You will fulfill our every need yes. according to your riches and glory. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for your love, God. Your kindness. We thank you for your kindness and your peace that surpasses Mercy, all yes, understanding, God. oh God. Touch these families, Lord Jesus. Yes, God. Touch these couples. Touch these singles, Lord Jesus, to hold on to your unchanging hands. Because, yes. God, you are there for us, God, in every need. God, we trust you. Above all, we trust you. We trust you, Jesus. Believe. We yes. believe you, By Lord faith. God. Yes. God, we know what the size of a mustard seed, just a grain yes. of the seed, oh God. We believe, God, that yes. all things are working together for our good. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. According to your purpose. 
purpose. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We love you, God. We love you, and we believe that it is all done in your name, Jesus. Amen. 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 Clap your hands and give God praise. Tamala Man singing the potter. Come on, clap your hands for Tamala Man. All right, y'all be seated. Listen, we got to keep it going. Let me tell you something. We have an incredible recording artist. I'm telling you, wrapping the show up tonight, the one and only J.J. Harrison is in the house tonight. Come on, J.J. What's up, man of God? Hey. Hey, hey. 
This your area? Yeah, this is New York. I'm you from grew up Brooklyn. Right, right, I grew up in Brooklyn, grew so up in yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. JJ, I, I am reading and watching all that God is doing in your life. I'm talking Billboard Awards, Grammy Stellas, the whole nine yards. Growing up, a boy in Brooklyn, did you ever see God's hand on your life taking you all the way to this level? Man, I, I don't know what the level is I'm trying to get to. I'm just trying to be in a place where God wants me to be. And, and because we've kept that mind and that heart, he just keeps blessing us and favoring us, and we keep keeping our face to the floor and saying, God, we praise you. And the more we worship, the more we praise, the more he blesses us. Every time, every time I see you guys hit the stage, yourself and Youthful Praise, yeah. it's always electrifying. It's always passionate. Where does that come from? What is that about? Um, it's... Our, our sincere offering to God. Um, we're not doing it as a performance. Literally, we don't plan anything. We just go out and, and whatever God does in the moment is what he does. And, and it, what's happened with us is people respond to our worship by worshiping themselves. So we feed off each other. We all praise together. We worship together and God gets the glory. You've been doing it a very long time. How long have you been doing music? Wow. Um, we started releasing music in 1999. Wow. So it's been, yeah. I'm bad at math. I don't know how, how many years that is. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's been a while. It's, it's, it's it been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> I know there had to be a lot of, everybody think back to 1999, wherever you were. I know you had to have faced a lot of discouraging times, a lot of frustrating times, a lot of down times. Talk to me about what gave you the strength to go on. Why did you, if you can do that, I know sometimes it's hard to look back, but if you can look back and say, what, what strengthened you to keep going to get to this place? Uh, there's a scripture that says, uh, forgetting those things that are behind me and moving towards the things that are ahead, I press toward the mark of the high calling. So I'm just pressing toward what God has for us and forgetting the things that didn't go well, learning from them, but going for what God has for us. Wow, wow, wow. Talk about, talk about press. What do, you, what do you mean? I know what you mean by press, but just for the viewers out there, let's just hit that a little bit more. When you say pressing, what do you mean by that? That's b being consistent, keep moving. Um, I heard uh, Reverend Jesse DePlanis say uh, that he gave us everything to guard our front because he doesn't plan on us looking backward. <laughs> so he wants us to move forward. So he shielded us and he covers us in the back, but uh -huh. he wants us to continue to move forward. Um, you just be consistent, be focused, mm -hmm. um, and don't give up. I yeah. mean, even when things don't look the way you want them to look, keep going, don't stop. God has a plan for you, and as long as you keep moving, he'll keep moving for you. Hey, somebody clap your hands, give God praise right there. Amen. You worked for many years at the local church. I know you worked at the local church while you were traveling. You yes. also held down a job yes. doing computer stuff, right? Yes. IT stuff. Yes. And, and was on the road. Absolutely. Speak to the people that are out there that are thinking that, you know, that somebody's going to come and just make it happen for you or just give you a record deal or, you know, talk, talk, let's, let's, let's get a little real. So right um, I worked... In, at a company called Hubble Wiring Devices, and I'm giving no endorsement, that's just where I was, uh, for 20 years. And I actually retired from there. I was working, I would be going to the Stella Awards, I would have a laptop with me in the back backstage working. Um, because I believe you're supposed to do what you have to do until you get to do what you want to do. Say it again, <laughs> say that again. Yeah. Do what you have to do you until to do. you get to do what you want to do. All right. And I have a family, and they have to eat. They have to have clothes. Um, so uh, as much as we believed in, that God had this in store for us, we had to keep working until we got to this moment. And I don't regret it at all. I actually feel like God was able to trust me for where we are now because I was faithful for what he'd given me in the moment. Wow. Come on. When I... When I to wrap it up, when I watch your career and when I listen to, I play your CD all, you know this, I play your music all the time, in the gym, wherever I'm at, I'm telling you, man, this, this guy's CD is just crazy. When I hear your music, I, I hear, and I, I feel like I, I can sense the grace of God on every song. When I say grace to you, what does that mean to you? Uh, I, my, my bitch, I always quote what, what great men say to me. Uh, my bishop is Bishop Joel Peebles in, in Landover, Maryland, awesome man of God. He said, grace is God giving us, well, not giving us what, what gra grace is God giving us what we don't deserve. Mm -hmm. 
and mercy is him not giving us what we do deserve. <laughs> so I thank God for his grace. You know, we, don't, we didn't merit this. As much as we, we, we can sing a few songs, we can write a few songs, but this is not something we've earned. This is God's grace putting us on this stage, having us share with you. So we're honored and we're, we're so thankful for everything he gives to us. Clap your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. I know you have no reason to fear tonight.